The project shown in this video can be found in the textbook Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD available from SDC Publications. Hey there, welcome back to Technical Drawing 101. We are in Chapter 9 today and I'm going to get you started on that electronic schematic template. This is going to be a two-part video, so this will be video one. We're just going to get started. We're going to set up the drawing, create some layers, create some blocks in this one, and just get it ready for the next video when we start actually drawing the project. So I'm looking at the instructions here and it says step one, getting started we are going to download the electronic, sch uh, electronic schematic template file located uh, in the prototype drawing files associated with this book. So wherever it is that you go to download these files, if you're going online to download it, if you are working in a classroom setting and they maybe have it sh saved onto a shared directory, wherever it is that you have this file, we're going to go open it up. I actually have recently opened it, so I'm just going to go with my recent and go ahead and if you get this error just just say okay to that all right so it says draw your fm tuner within the magenta rectangle the heck text height that tells us what the text height should be and turn off the model space layer when you're ready to plot we're not ready to plot yet we're just going to kind of zoom in here the first thing that we're going to do is create the blocks that we see below so this little red point right here autocad has a point command and when you put that point in it just kind of marks a location in space and it allows us to have something to snap to. In order to snap to a point though we have to turn on our node OSnap. So we're going to come into OSnaps down here in the bottom corner and we are going to look for the one that says node right here. What is that? The one, two, three, four, fifth one down. Put a little check mark next to that and that way we can snap to this red node. If you take a look at the layers we do have a layer called nodes and ooh, this one's not locked so go ahead and lock that layer if it's not already. That way you can't accidentally select it. Alright so we've got that layer locked now. You know it's locked if you hover next to it you see a little padlock next to any objects that are drawn on that layer. All right, so double check that though for sure. If it is, um, if it doesn't have that layer locked, go ahead and lock it. All right, at this point we're going to do save as. You're going to do file, save as, or however it is that you do save as. You can do it with the file pull down menu. You can do it with this little floppy disk that has a pencil with it, or you can come in here and say save as. Lots of ways to do it. Um, we'll go ahead and put it on the desktop. You guys put it into your home directory. Where do, wherever it is you're supposed to be saving your files, we're going to call it FM Tuner. All right. So I know I've got it saved when I look up here and I see FM Tuner. Do not save that onto your desktop. That was just something that I was doing. Um, but uh, do be sure to save it into your home directory, whatever, wherever that is. All right. The next step says activate the model tab in the lower left graphics corner if it's not already activated. Mine already is. I know I'm in the model tab because I see that black background. If I were to click over here to layout, that is what it would look like. So if you see this, then you'll click back over here to model. But if you see that black or kind of charcoal gray background, you know you're in the right, um, in the right tab. You're in the layout tab. All right, step two, create two new layers, one named circuit and one named symbols. So I'm going to come over here to my layer properties. And let's see, I need circuit and I need symbols. I'm going to come over here, just click on this guy, new. I'll call it circuit. And just pick a color, any color will do for that circuit. Let's see, maybe I want to make my circuit red. And then I've got another one and I need to call it symbols. And what color can I make the symbols? Let's make those cyan. Okay, any old color will do. When it actually comes down to it, you're going to plot this thing in monochrome, which means black and white, so it doesn't matter what color you choose here. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and close this out. <coughs> The next step I need to do is make these guys into blocks. So I'm going to make a block for each one of these symbols. I've got a capacitor, dot, resistor, NPN transistor, and a PNP transistor. So uh, there will be five blocks in all. <coughs> and what we're going to do when we make it a block, this guy right here is just, it tells you what the name is. This is not going to be a part of the block. Do not select the text. You're just going to select the white kind of geometry that makes that symbol. So to make a block, we're going to go to the Insert ribbon. 
I've got the insert ribbon here. The second panel is block definition and this is where I'm going to create a block. Give it a name. So the first one capacitor. Pick point and this is where, make sure you have that node O snap one, but I'm going to snap to the node and then select the object. So three things you have to do when you make a block. You're going to when you're done selecting, press enter. You're going to give it a name, you're going to specify the base point, and you're going to select an object. If you forget to specify the base point, it's going to take 0, 0, wherever that is in space. It's going to take that as the base point. So when you get ready to insert, it's going to, you're going to be holding your object from pretty far away, not exactly on the object. So it's going to, you'll either not see your object or it'll look like it's not inserting right, and that's probably just because you forgot the base point. So don't forget name, base point, and then select the objects. You do have three options here and this is completely user preference. It's up to you how you prefer to do this, but I'm going to talk to you about each one of those. So retain. What that means is we're talking about the geometry that you see on your screen. So that line in that arc that I just selected for the capacitor, when I say OK and I get out of this block definition, it's definitely going to make a block out of it. That block is going to go into what's called a block library. But the geometry that I see on my screen, how do I want that to be dealt with? Retain means when I come back to my screen, I'll still have a line and I'll still have an arc. If I say convert to block, this line and this arc that I see on my screen that I selected for this block, those are going to become a block. It'll still have a block in the block library, but I'll have it inserted onto my screen here. If I say delete, what I selected, that line and that arc will disappear. Don't worry, if you say delete, it's still in your block library. It's a little bit freaky to select delete at first, but I, it's actually my favorite one. So it's up to you. You do what you prefer. Retain, convert to block, or delete. If you say retain or convert to block, you're ultimately going to have to go back through there and erase the ones that you have left on your screen. I like delete because, um, well, it's just good for keeping up with which blocks you've already created. Um, you know, you kind of keep track. If you get up, you have to log off or you uh, go grab a drink or something and you come back, you can remember exactly where you were because you, um, they, they disappear as you make them. So I'm going to go with delete and you can see what happens. Just kind of keep an eye right here on that capacitor that I selected. I will say, okay, eee, it went away. But if I look over here, insert, there it is. Don't worry, it's this drawing, every drawing has a block library. This went into the block library, even if it deleted what I saw on the screen. All right, we're going to keep going. Create a block, give it a name, that's a dot. Pick a point, that is right there, that node. Select the objects. Even if you accidentally selected that node, because we have that on a locked layer, the node will not be a part of it. When you're done selecting objects, press enter. That's how we get back to this. And I'll say OK. See that node didn't delete with it, or the, the, the point didn't delete with it because it is on a locked layer. Repeat. Remember, if you press enter, you can repeat your last command. And this one, we're going to call it resistor. Pick a point right there. Select my objects. Delete. Say OK. Perfect. All right, so I've made three. Got two more to go. I've got an NPN transistor and a PNP transistor. They look a lot alike, but if you notice, the NPN, look at the little arrowhead, NPN, not pointing in. If you look at the PNP, point in please, the arrowhead is pointing in. So while they look very similar, they're actually very different. So be careful when you're making these into blocks and also when you're inserting them into your drawing. I'm going to move this over so we can see. All right, so I've got NPN transistor, select a base point right there. Select my objects, all of this. Press enter when you're done. It shows a little thumbnail of what it's going to look like. And I'll say OK. One more to do. Press enter. You know your space bar is also your enter button. It's kind of nice because it's real big and easy to find. So this is a PNP. Oops, I learned how to spell. T R A N S I S. Transistor. Got to type in too fast there. All right, so select the base point, select my objects. When I'm done selecting my objects, press enter. 
and say OK. Perfect. So I've made these blocks. If I come over here and look at insert, I've got capacitor, dot, NPN transistor, resistor, and PNP transistor. So be sure and save your drawing. Save, save, save. Control S uh, to save your work. Um, just make sure you save your drawings as you go. All right, so I did this. Use the red point. After making the blocks, erase the objects below and this note. So take these guys, delete that note, and I'll come over here. Instead of erasing those nodes, you can um, just freeze them, turn them off. There you go. All right, so we're all ready. We've got this drawing set up. Let me save one more time. Got the drawing set up. We've got our blocks made. We've got our layers made. So now we can move on to the next step, which is drawing the object itself, the FM tuner.